<sighs> well, the title says it all. For this episode, I forgot to turn on my microphone. So, today, I'm going to be doing some post-commentary, and Phoenix is going to be talking over himself. This is going to be interesting. So, hello, and welcome back to the last episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda. Oh, Oversight, thou art a heartless bitch. <laughs> Warning. This walkthrough, this playthrough may include greeting enemies with our faces, getting close and personal of in-depth, getting close and personal of traps, having bad ideas with sticking with them, obsessing over secret items of unknown locations, panicking, and death. <laughs> that sums it up quite nicely, actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty much every playthrough it's done is the hell. Yeah. We were just entering the lion dungeon, and I think we should be going right first, actually, considering the the way to the right is only just one room. This feels more, you know, with my voice in this, it's just sort of going to feel and more like commentary than anything else. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. So. What was I gonna? What was I doing here? You were. I think you were trying to figure out how to kill the keys and zoles without the bubbles getting in the way. Ah. Uh. Oh. Which would be a lot easier if you were full health at this point. Oh yeah, absolutely. And somehow I mentioned. Oh, and also that that disclaimer at the very beginning of the vi of the actual vi of the video with. That was basically me, me ripping off yeah, something from Raw Mithril. Because it also <laughs> dead ends, but, but when yeah. it does dead end, you'll get a good item. Okay, so there was something good in here. You have to deal with this guy. And, ooh, that thing again. <laughs> um. Bombs. Oh, dead. <laughs> I had forgotten that I I had forgotten that bombs weren't equipped. <laughs> oh, that that ooh. Now the sword will do. Or that could happen. <laughs> Okay. That was there something that could be picked up in the previous room. Oh, yeah. and now last but not least, now we come upon your worst enemy at this point. The infamous combination well, of dark nuts as give dose bubbles. Somehow. <laughs> and of course, we have bubbles teamed up with give dose oh, and dark nuts. Oh god. Uh, uh <laughs> and you keep walking in and out. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> it's, it's these, you know, it's these moments that where you look back on what you were, d on your earlier work, and you sometimes I'm stopped to wonder what the heck you were thinking half of the time. Yeah. And I'm still not at full health. And then I still have this stupid thing to deal with. Oh! Well, that was... when... Okay. When... Yes indeed, past me. Yes indeed. Now, come here we have... Oh. The world of magic. <laughs> it does, it's not an item that's equippable. However, having it in your possession has an interesting effect on your, your magical rod. Oh, uh, what? Wait, was this the t thing that turned it into a flame rod or something? Yeah. Just shoot it out and see yeah. what I mean. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You learned the fire spell. <laughs> Link has learned the fire spell. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, what the heck happened? Hmm. 
Please tell me this was me saving a state and not loading from something. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you forgot to edit this out. Wow. Oops. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, it was the webcam that was working. <laughs> this is only one way to go at this point. Up. Oh my god. And now, and now we also get to watch the glorious so of your you face. Have to fight this one time. <laughs> <laughs> His mouth moving with nothing happening. Uh. Congratulations, past Stell. You're now, now half of Dinosaur Adventure. Oh, do we have to mention that? <laughs> and well. I actually managed to kill every single one of the heads in one hit. Dang it, I was distracted and missed it. <laughs> the top one. <gasps> well, even past me is a derp moment. Wonder what I wonder what I was distracted by at that point. <laughs> Who knows? Ah, that, that, that. And lots of problems. What was? I guess he was talking. I guess we were one. He were asking if the magical rod actually worked on them, or something. God, watching this all over again. How did you even predict those things? Practice. That was how I figured it out. And I'm dead. <laughs> So, so dead. Oh. Eh. Oh. Didn't work out this time. And. And the random. And the random movements as being a troll. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh. I must have been raging so hard here. What? What we just witnessed there is the equivalent of flailing. <laughs> desperately be trying to score an actual hit. And... Well, the potion health restoring of noise lingered for kind of a while. Up oh, and now. Oh. <laughs> Almost like this, where I wish you could actually destroy the statues. I mean, you were eventually. I mean, in later games in the series, you were able to destroy the Beemos. Dungeon seems to love the combo of hmm. give those bubbles and dark nuts, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Past Phoenix. That's the safe state before you enter every room. Oh my god. Although watching this could sit and how you struggle with this. I just I just can't wait to see the day where I eventually decide to introduce you to Zelda 2. Oh god. <laughs> Considering the nightmare stories involving that. Oh it's not like Zelda spaces of evil level of bad, but <sighs> kind of teeters off at a point place of two words. Death Mountain. Yeah. As most people, or as some people call it, Mount Rage Quit. <laughs> For good reason. Up, oh, and I got hit with a bubble. Oh, oh, no, I didn't get hit with a bubble. And oh. that's a. Oh my god, I am probably thanking my lucky stars at this point. Fairy! I mean, the main reason the Death Mountain and oh. Zelda 2 was so hard is not because it was maze like. Say stage, just in case. Of a very particular enemy in that. The Dyra's 
Yeah. <laughs> Other horde of do blue dart nuts. Oh. Believe me, when I pl ever I play that game, those guys guys make me want to feel like pulling my hair out. And if I manage to get through it without dying once, I count myself lucky. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell was past you singing there? I don't know. I guess it was like, look, I guess it was just like watching this this really crazy dance yeah, like, with no predictability. I've said before, but I think this is starting to become more prevalent here is that Blow Dark Nuts are, are the, one of the enemies that have the highest tendency to drop fairies. And to Which is kind of a good up. thing considering Long they're more likely to take large amounts of health from you instead of. Give it. Another man handler. <sighs> Another one of these things! Oh! Only two. <sighs> and there's the map. Only at the leap from the lion's now head will he prove his us. worth. And again, you might want to save state. Shut up, phone. You know what's you know Gomos have kind of had a funny transition over the years. This one bat fight they're kinda of tricky, but then they sort of diverted into first boss in Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker. Maybe they have even been taking on the role of common enemy in four sorts of adventures. <laughs> So, long story short, they're just no longer the ridiculously difficult enemy that they're famous for being. What am I doing here? Panicking. Oh, or the wonders of an AK-47. I wonder, does that... No, he doesn't respond. <laughs> oh, good. Down. I mean, right. Oh! God! <laughs> oh! How did I get... Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> Although, I mostly would compare this with just not knowing, rather than... All that thinking bombs. <laughs> now they stay oh, here because game. War dark nuts. Oh Jesus! Only this time with Paul's voices. Odd edition Paul's voice. The enemy that can be killed with sound, but only in Japan. <laughs> oh. So basically, this is the only enemy in the main in this game that could be killed by yelling obscenities at them. Step, step, step. <laughs> <laughs> Did past you just played way too much TF2? Uh. Step, step, step. <laughs> I think that's my favorite taunt, mainly because it's the fastest one to do. Now we have Maybe. an interesting key. Now notice what your key counter looks like. Basically, you now have unlimited key, key uses. 
<laughs> Ooh. Dungeon this, crawling this part, mode. This part of Let's Play Legend of Zelda is brought to you by the letter A. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uses and lo unlocks all doors. I would do an, done an impression for that joke, but I suck at monk pit voices. In fact, I, in fact, funny story. I think this key is only hmm. existent in the 2D. No, no, not up there. Now go back to the room down below. <sighs> Load, you know it's funny how in these the walkthroughs I always seem to divulge into devolve into a guide. <laughs> a yeah. And now, to when I was so right. scared, those mall enemies would have revived. Yeah, all the environmental hazards seem to be doing me in and just fine anyway. Oh, bubbles, give those and oh. I don't think you need to fight these guys. Just. At least clear a path. Or that could actually happen. <laughs> okay! The Luxman. Hmm. <laughs> and considering how all your health is going, you need it. In fact, now. Before you enter the next room, you might want to pull out the bow. Yes. Wait. Pull out According the bow? This map, I got off the wiki a huge block <gasps> of them. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> that really works. Oh, god damn it! I thought the RNG was being kind before, mm. but this is just ridiculous. This is the type of luck that makes you wonder if you actually deserve it. And now bomb the wall to the north. And face the boss. And it's Gleok, gonna be Gleok again. A four header. Safe state. And walks out of hole. Specifically to save state. Just slash at his heads. Mm-hmm. Last art container of game. <laughs> and past that door up there is the final Triforce piece. No, nothing of any importance. Huh, I nothing must have been asking what I was missing. Getting small keys anymore, since the magical key pretty much renders them obsolete. <gasps> You know what, I was thinking of something, but I just completely forgot what it was. Uh. Funny enough, the magical key- the only other game the magical key ever shows up in is Zelda 2. Alright, now we're just missing- oh wait, now I remember. We're Now we're missing the part where- where the Gleok was screaming, I'll see you again in Phantom Hourglass! <laughs> uh, well. I've got dinner on my end, so I'm going to have to pause this for a bit. Okay. And I am back. Well, ready to start the trek to Death Mountain. <laughs> I must buy your most powerful potions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is when you discovered that video. Yeah, um, still yeah. show me that very <laughs> weird Jeez, how long video that it when you gone recorded this. Gone wild. Um, a while. I'm guessing along the lines of months to even a year ago. Probably, I don't know. Up, up a I'll have to check the recording date to be sure. West. What? 
Considering that this, that last dungeon was, proved so nice all of a sudden. I mean, I now you are not to the uh, fairies, pointless. Right? I have the Emerald Hills. With a name like that, that you'd expect Sonic to go through here. That went from being, oh god, I'm going to need to go back for a potion, and then to, okay, maybe not. Maybe I can handle this. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and just so you know, this map that I'm, men that I'm mentioning, no, the present me, not past me, is mentioning. Unrecorded playthrough, well. attempted 100% playthrough, hmm. thousand year door. If anybody's curious, I'm just going to be is that really, is sending the code really over necessary. to Estelle, so, so we can put it in the description. My okay. God. Berries. I tell a I tell a joke, but right now, but nothing comes to mind. Plus, I don't want to be that guy. Was that I being guy? sexual at this point? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> it's just as far right as you can go before you're blocked off by something. I mean, we're only going for the first quest of this, but I shudder to think think what we would would happen if how much raging you would have done if we decided to do the second quest. Oh, the master quest would have been annoying. Um, not only is almost everything shifted around, and all the dungeons, yes. then dungeon the bridge. Yeah, it's different. You also have to deal with things like invisible wall, invisible doorways. Boy, Stelphos that shoot lasers, bubbles that steal your sword permanently until you hit a blue bubble. <laughs> and yeah. an old man that force you e to either give you Should money or get the best one of your version painters. I will be taking your strongest potions, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot handle my strongest potions. And now, there's really nothing left to do but go to the final dungeon. Hmm. It's somewhere in the northwestern part of the map, in a place called Spectacle Rock. Seriously, we don't even need them anymore. <laughs> Why am I just. It's Does... Spectacle Rock. Or as Necro BMX calls it, Spectacle Cock. <laughs> what? Yeah, don't ask. <laughs> one of the, he's one of the first YouTubers I ever got interested in my youth, and his humor was kind of a... The Lost Woods. Well, heck, is kind of a... an acquired taste. Which is big. And don't worry, the way through it is, I think, up left. I'm still subscribed to him. And there goes my sword beam. Stuff as often as I used to, but I still subscribe in case something interesting pops up. <laughs> no, and that way. so far, this seems to be me getting used to. Yes. The entire inventory system. <laughs> yeah. You know, at this point, considering we technically have anything, I don't understand why we're killing things. Eh. Don't 
that's probably just me being paranoid about everything. Left, down, left. Of course, you may want to kill the moblins just so they just so they stop pestering you. Or if you. Well, on the right side, there was that heart. message from the Minion Nation server. Oh! Applicatory server announcement here. They love the server, derp faces. <laughs> well, we would, but busy at the moment. Yep. But at this point, we're too busy doing this. And is this back, really work? back last night, we kind of got... I didn't mention it, but we I got a message involving it. And that was something similar, but... It probably <laughs> showed up on my screen, too. Okay. Anyone want to play some games? We only we have a few people on the server, and we sure can use some more. Not quite as hilariously rude as the other one, but okay. Now go to the graveyard. <laughs> <the game. laughs> Just ignore the guineas. You know, it's funny, in the top-down games, it's Guinies, and yet in the, right, all the actually. 3D games, it's Pose. Up. Is there a difference? Right. Probably, I don't know. <clears throat> no, that's that was to level 6. Just keep going with right. What the heck, we're not gonna be going back through here ever again, so. Oh, upright. Right. Okay, I think up. <laughs> Spawn camping in a nutshell. <laughs> text at the bottom now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> that was hilarious. And wrong! Okay. Oh, oh God. Jeez, the random number gods are being kind to me on this session. Well, speaking of which, this week maybe we should start reviving some of the other older projects. Like, maybe we should get back to Final Fantasy VI. At this point, Final Fantasy VI might be better off just being restart. What do you mean? Oh, right. What makes you say that? Just the sheer amount of stuff that... I think it's the left one. Just the sheer amount of stuff that... happened in there... that we wouldn't even remember that's kind Welcome of vital. Death Mountain. Right. No Gorons here, but... plenty of death. <laughs> Were you referencing Ocarina of Time there? No. I don't remember what I was referencing it's there. Just a straight shot. Hmm. hmm. Now here, you if you had not the didn't have the completed Triforce, you would have been blocked off. Now, 
cow. That's, of course, that's the trick. Um, this place is a maze. Hmm. I might... Just give me a moment. Of course, it would be a maze. Cut, cut the recording here, and I'll be, we'll be right back once I figure things out. <laughs> okay, according to my point, I think we, the best route for now would be going up. And just use the ladder to float on the... Or you could just... Or just... <laughs> now, bomb the left Look. wall. <laughs> We're about to bump into a new enemy here. Grab the... Get the magical rod out and... Eat the landmola. I guess it's only fitting that the final level is some enemy specific only to it. What the hell was that? That was Skype. Enter this stairwell. Yeah, basically, if Lamelas, if you tr go, end up getting into melee range, you're gonna you're not you're gonna have a pretty bad time. If you get into melee range of a land, Mola, you're gonna have a bad time. What well, if you fair like likes on their own really aren't that threatening? on the right. Just one, just ignore everything and run to the other side. There wasn't really any need to light the room up. Eh. And now just head south. Ignore this enemy for now as well. That is a Patra. It's kind of a mini boss. And kind of not. At least not now. Speaking <laughs> of which, I just happen to have. Out the. The guy who made that I map mean, also made. What you're doing, bomb the right wall. The enemy said, here's the pot one for Patra. Those Ganon's powers grant him the ability to conjure spells, to mutate beasts, and possess others. He cannot see everything that happens in the Unworld, at least with his own vision. As Ganon is known to collect strange and archaic items such as rare plants, ancient texts, and dead animals. Two of his most prized possessions are the eyes of an extinct and unnamed beast that used to go in Lake Hylia. Possessing the creature's plucked eyes and giving them the ability of flight, Ganon created the Patra. Telepathically linked again, and the Patra have become another set of eyes for their master, patrolling his underworld fortress with a keen sense of sight like no other. Eerily, the Patra can reproduce, spawning hordes of smaller of eyes, the north. all of which affect the Ganon's mind, giving him a, a vast visual map of his entire fortress. When a master Patra has attacked, its offspring will return, forming a tight, ring, very tight ring of a fence around the central eye. Nor most of these guys just bomb the wall, the other north wall too. Ooh. Huh. And I just cut back to the actual video with you dying. <laughs> well, the things fans make up for. Yeah. Okay, safe state first. It can range from impressive to kind of creepy. So in this case, I'd say a little bit of both. Now these guys in this room you have to kill. I mean, who would collect the eyes of creatures? The hell if I know. Oh my god, what am I doing here?
Oh, Christ. Ah, the bubbles! Fuck the bubbles! It's like, again, why can't you just kill these things? <laughs> okay! Taken at the beginning of the game. I thought it over, and green is dead. Till I change my nine, the color's red. Yeah, I personally and would have preferred to all of my referencing the Wiz. Sooner. I was about to ask about that. I'm so surprised you remember that. Interesting experience. Yeah. Enjoy it, no offense. We just thought it was a terrible musical. I mean, it's just too many songs. That's our problem with it. No, 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 no. Oh. You know, I'm surprised you made it through the whole thing without losing your shield. Okay, now just follow back I think. the path you took until you reach the I may have to watch the older account. videos in order to... Eh. You might want to get that potion out of your hand. Although there might be a time where you got, got... got had it stolen and then died afterward. That actually happened here. Yeah. Really? When? Yeah, the that one time you looked back. Ah. Now north. And bomb the left wall. Go to the next room. That thanks oh, for wow. being vague. What useful information. That's just not what we've been doing throughout the entire game. <laughs> now I think kill everything here. Oh god. Go through. <laughs> oh, nope. Nope. And. Nope. Now, this might be a. We might be a. Let you restore some of your health because it's just souls. Unless you're severely unlucky. <laughs> Luck has run no out. Left. Oh. Oh, God. I'll just head to the upper room. Just, I don't think the keys give a good reward. Just keep, just run right through them. You know, maybe I should add my... my... My, my intro, ignore sage, ignoring sage advice. Now you kind of actually have to kill these guys. This... Oh, 
Because that stairway will like, eventually lead to something that you'll need to kill Ganon. Kill these guys. Yeah. Now bomb the north wall. And kill even more of these guys. Might want a safe state. just decide to load a state. <laughs> Thank God Dr. Hax was nowhere in the area. Hmm. Indeed. Probably have something to say. <laughs> and there's the potion. And, it's a, and the whispers are like, you know we're just gonna shoot you when you're done drinking, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Now, before the light arrow, there was the silver arrow. It's the silver arrows. I just said that. Past me. <laughs> Why is it that the villain always seems to have the weapon that is necessary to kill them in their lair? Compromised. Oh no, your identity has not been compromised. You. Are lucky because I wasn't recording my mic during this. <laughs> well, that's a happy foresight. <sighs> no, just head back down. Get out the way you came. <sighs> oh my god. Now, head north. <sighs> oh boy, lots of like likes. You probably might, could, you can use the boomerang to stun them. <laughs> and watch as I just straight up abuse that advice. <laughs> At north again. No! <laughs> Will I be able to make it out? Before the... Oh. 
I was hurt by my own flames. I don't even know why I hummed that. Did someone hit the mariachi band button on you? Probably. If you bomb the wall to the right left, you don't need to fight these guys. I mean, the left. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Unfortunately. Thankfully, since there only seem to be two, what that one yellow and one two blues, seem to be too much trouble. Um, past Phoenix, do you even know who you're dealing with? <laughs> and now push the left block. Now bomb the wall to the left. Again, just ignore everything, just run. And wait, bombs kill Wizrobes? And now just kill. <laughs> <laughs> Those trollish bubbles. Nah. And now, the last obstacle is this guy. Safe stage. safe state here because that when you walk through there there's no going back <laughs> you actually want the bow I switched to the to the <laughs> candle so thinking that no tricks here just stab it no you not yet just start stabbing until you hit him four times <laughs> Bomb is telling where he is, this can be kind of... Yeah... Even if you're following the, where the projectiles are coming from... Wow. Okay, how many times did I have to load a save? Fairly a lot. you watch this painful thing, I'm gonna go, go get my phone in the charger. 
Okay. This when I'm not in panic mode. Uh. <laughs> I'm walking into the projectiles. <laughs> I keep walking into the projectiles. Why the hell? Why am I walking into the projectiles? Okay, well, I seem to be learning. Seem to be... This would be so much easier if you had full health. Oh yeah, absolutely. But given this game and my track record with it, oh, direct hit to him. Also, I think the problem is you keep hitting where he was, rather than where he's going to be. Well, another problem is that I keep running into the damn projectiles. Or into him. Wait, well, the timer did warn hitting enemies with my fa your face. <laughs> oh, that was fast. Okay, so important. Whoever thought that it was a good idea to have enemies be invisible should be shot. Okay, now... <laughs> I was confused about where to go. Charles is there. Now stack slash the flame. Slash the flame. And well, yeah, that makes that's sense. That. <laughs> Slink, you're the hero. You oh big, god, I shouldn't ending. do try that. This is the NES. What do you expect? <sighs> This game is happy end. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> funny, how, funny how the English for the ending is much better than the English for the intro in, intro backstory. Another quest will start from here. Press the start button. Nope. No. At least not now. <laughs> Maybe when we've done some of the other games, it finished with some of the other no, games we, in the we series, we'll do it, but no. Under our belt and, uh, <sighs> a bit more of mental planning. <laughs> oh, that was that was painful to watch. <laughs> Wait a minute. Aren't we going to get final thoughts? <laughs> I had nothing, didn't I? I had nothing, did I? I don't know. I wouldn't know. But that expression says yes. Uh. Well, it's any 
NES hard. It's the classic NES frustration. It pisses you off, but then it but it just pisses you off to a point where you want to keep going. It pisses you off, but not to the point where you want to quit. <laughs> yeah, just to say, it's a good game, but but I think some things could have been done better. Like the power bracelet didn't. Like certain items really didn't seem to have much purpose. I mean, we barely made use of the power bracelet, or and some items just became obsolete way too quickly. I mean, we got the got the red candle in Dungeon Six Seven only to have the Book of Magic render it obsolete and the after dungeon immediately afterward. <laughs> and if this video, this particular video proved anything, it's that the final boss should not be invisible. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can wholeheartedly agree on that point. Oh. <laughs> I gave the game the bird. <laughs> Otherwise, pretty good game. Oh. So. So. <laughs> <laughs> now we're just gonna steer away from Zelda. We might, I might have him do Zelda two at some point, but mm. considering that repu, yeah, but considering that game's reputation, that might not be for a while. Funny story: ROMs involving if that Maybe game usually have this funny glitch involving them. That, that happens if you press the point. left, left and right on the keyboard at once. Oh. Well, basically, it's where, you, well, you look like basically moonwalking. Ah. Ah, okay. So, I guess since past me has finished making his commentary, I guess it's time for me to end it. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'd be nowhere if you didn't. Above all, I hope you enjoyed this insanity. I know it was painful for me to watch. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.